Hi everyone, I'm Thilsi and welcome to this little cottagecore makeover of one of my sims. If you're new, this is Flora. She is my Crybaby Wimps Legacy Sim Generation 2. She just became a young adult so I figured why not give her a proper real makeover instead of just changing up a few outfits and I wanted to show you. The colours for her generation are pink and white so I kept with that theme and her main interests are nature and gardening and flowers and she just moved into Henford and Bagley. So I gave her a cottagecore-esque makeover. It's not like fully cottagecore because it's not really an aesthetic I'm really familiar with. So I just tried my best. I gave her quite a few outfits because it was so, so fun to make her. And I absolutely love some of them. She's like an absolute goddess. She's so beautiful. But like I said, she moved into Henford and Bagley. And if you've been following the series, you know that she looked quite different before. So I feel like this makeover is quite big. I also decided to grow her hair out as well because I wanted to do that for the longest time. But while I was recording the last episode, it was so jarring how much she was standing out because her cottage is like very cottagey and the entire Henford and Bagley world has a very specific aesthetic and she was sticking out so so much I just could not even look at her. I didn't want to give her a makeover like midway through the episode but it was just so weird to see her in that world. She was sticking out way too much. So I wanted to go fully in and embrace that aesthetic that she's now living in. So here is the result of that. And I'm sorry if this cast video is so messy. I really honestly didn't want to clean up the footage so you can see my real cast process. I am constantly like flipping between the outfits. I'm just going back and forth and looking at things and adding things later. I'm usually always like that. So I don't share my cast process usually because of that. For example, if I'm on a party wear, I already like forget the general aesthetic of the sim. So I go back back and flick between through the outfits and look at them all and see if they're matching. So if you see me going back and forth a lot during this video, that's because I'm, I'm just like that. Few of you asked about my cast process, so now you're seeing it and now you probably understand why I don't share it that much. And also another thing is that something about the hair that I gave her, the swatches just weren't matching with different hairs. Even though it's all Anto hair, it should be matching. It's all the same swatch, but probably you will see me quite a bit changing the hair swatches just to make them match. I don't know if that's just a me issue or is it just not matching? It's just kind of weird. But anyway, I absolutely love, love, love her formal outfits. I downloaded those dresses specifically for her because I just could not resist. They were way, way too perfect. I mean, let's be real. We will never really see her in, in her formal wear. I really don't think so. Unless she gets married eventually, which is definitely not Flora. I don't think she'll ever get married. Like no spoilers for the story, even though I have it planned out. I've never really seen Flora to be like a marrying type, especially because she's an unflirty sim, so I really don't see how that's gonna happen, but I guess we never know. But I really, really enjoyed doing some of these outfits, like all of them, but some especially. I didn't really just fully wipe everything out. I did leave some things that she had as a teenager because some outfits are still like kind of fine. And when it comes to her face, it's kind of annoying that she still has that acne overlay. I don't know if you're noticing it. You probably are. I can't remove that. And that's, I think, one of the bugs that came with high school years. If your teen sims age up into adults, while they still have acne or pimples, I'm not sure which this is supposed to be, they will just have that forever. So Flora is stuck with that. I don't really mind it that much to be honest, but it's kind of annoying to be fearful of that all the time because I didn't even notice that she actually had it as a teenager. So when she aged up and I entered cast, I was like, oh, I can't get rid of that. That's really frustrating. Same happened with Olivia, her sister. So they're just kind of stuck like that and I don't really know any cheats so if you know anything that would help me please let me know because I kind of want to have at least some of my sims have clearer skin. I really don't mind it on Flora. Honestly I kept her kind of natural. I didn't really give her that much makeup. I did on some outfits but to be completely honest with you I forgot about makeup on a lot of the outfits because she just doesn't really need it that much. She has like a little bit but I kept forgetting about it because she looks so good with just natural face and one of her party looks is actually the same as it is on her mom. So Lauren has that really pretty yellow dress. Obviously Flora has the pink version. It just looks so so good on her. I could not believe it. I loved it on Lauren but I love it even more on Flora if that's even possible. It might be a bit weird that she's matching with her mother but Lauren actually aged up to an elder so I changed up some of her looks as well so she's not wearing that dress anymore because it's not really elder appropriate I guess. Oh and also I wanted to say if you want any of like CC bits I'm totally 
Where can I find friendly? But I did not put together a CC list because it would just take forever. But if you want me to find something, just name the item you're interested in to a reasonable extent. And I could just dig around to find a few pieces for you. But I did not put together the entire CC list. That would just be kind of totally unreasonable. But again, I am where can I find friendly as long as it's a relatively reasonable request. So feel free to ask if you want anything because she's using some really, really pretty pieces of CC and I definitely want to share them. And if you want to see her new look live in game, the next episode is out right now as well. So go check that out after you finish watching this. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of her makeover and I will see you in the episode.